Hi everybody, it's Cory at the Reset Girl, and I am doing an unboxing of the new um, Summer Sunset Listers Got a List kit. So we decided that it was getting kind of confusing by using the name of the month in the kit name because I didn't want people to feel like this kit has to be used in September. This kit has to be used in October because I'm trying to make each kit kind of broad in what you can use it for. And I didn't, knowing the fact that my kits are not mailing out and, and people are not getting them until about mid-month and later, it I don't want people to feel like, oh, I can't use my kit now. So I am doing away with all of the kit names that say things like September and August. And now I'm giving them fancy names um, like Summer Sunset. So this particular kit that is going to debut quite shortly um, is actually one of the smallest kits I've put together. It even is in this much smaller box. It's a little, it's a little baby box. This is the box we actually ship most of our products in. So it's pretty, pretty teeny. And I'll show you. You can see side by side. Oop, wrong way. <laughs> you can see the difference in size. This is the normal um, Lister's Got a List kit that we normally do. And then here's the little baby kit. So I wanted to go through the ingredients with you and let you get a closer look at some of these. So we have, this is, um, most of the products are from Amy Tangerine's new collection, Finders Keepers, and that this roller stamp is one of them. So it has these little expressions on it. I absolutely love this font. I love that it's like nice, big, clear letters like that. They're all consistent. And I love what it says. The last couple of roller stamps I've gotten, I have just completely loved. Um, and this is definitely one of them. These are some Studio Calico flag clips. I love page markers. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that my planners have tons of little um, page markers on them. I love putting them on everything, including Lister's Got a List pages. Um, they're just like a fun little element that makes things stick out. You could mark your very favorite list pages in your book with these. That's kind of like what I think they're fun for. And they're um, these are really lightweight and plastic, so they won't be bulky. They're kind of like, a, it's kind of like a plasticky paper. It's kind of a weird material to describe, but they're really thin and lightweight, so they're not gonna add a lot of bulk or, or weight. And then, oh, these are the brand new Reset Girl stickers for this collection. I absolutely love these. I love this color palette to death. In fact, I am loving it so much um, that I actually found a home for it in our sticker collections that are going to be coming out very shortly. I tested this in the 2015 Inkwell press planner that I have, and it totally rocked it. It looked awesome in all of the months. So I am going to take a picture of that later and post it on Instagram so you can see. But I this particular set just looks really amazing with the embellishments here and that's why um, I kind of pulled it as a inspiration and those are the little number stickers and they've got I love this little detail there's a little heart in the zeros it's a little stripey heart and then it's got that same little element everywhere there's a little place where you'd normally see a little hole and then these this says list 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 and it's got kind of a tribal, kind of geometric, the hearts. I just love, I, you guys know I am a huge fan and user of my layering stickers. I just love these so much. And it's so much fun to figure out new ways of doing them. So I kind of stick to these little, the round circles and the layering stickers for the kick. I just really think they're so universal. The shape is really simple. Um, it's really easy to do. Um, to, to utilize these, you can use these, you know, you can layer the smaller icons on top of these, you can write on these, you can stamp on these. These are matte um, so that you can write with any kind of pen or stamp on them easily, and these are actually glossy. I've been kind of 
changing um, the way we do some of that because there's no reason to write on these particular stickers and I think glossy stickers are just, oh, there's just something so magical about them. So we are actually kind of changing over the majority of our stickers to glossy when there is no writing involved. But when there is, you will have this really nice matte. So, um, and then the little polka dot circles. I have a variety of these little circles, polka dots. Um, hash mark, the little speckles. These are just favorites. I use these every day in planning. I use word strip stickers and stickers like this every single day. My favorite stickers of all are these little hash mark ones. So I always make sure to, to include something that I personally use a lot of. Um, so these kind of stickers are two that I always put in my kits because they're just so universal. You can use them for everything, scrapbooking, journaling, planning, listing, and they're just really fun. They add a little bit of whimsy to your pages. So this little sticker set is going to be in there as well. And then I always include these. This month they're blue. These are the classic library card pockets and the library cards. My favorite is the fact that you can put the little uh, list headers right here on this space and then actually fill this out like it's your list. These glue down so nicely in um, a book, which is another selling point. I just love them so much. Um, if you caught my video from the last kit, I showed you how you could use the list pockets, just gluing them down on the page. So um, that was one of the things that I discovered when I started listing was that these are really a cool way to make your page just really um, go fast, you know, putting it together and it adds a lot of um, punch and it's fun because it's interactive. It's like a little pop-up book, you know, being able to pull the little lists out. Um, another sticker sheet included is a Studio Calico sheet. And I don't think, this is not available any longer. Um, this is actually from an older collection of theirs. Um, but I wish I could have bought more because it is just fabulous. It's a matte paper, it's pink, and it has kind of a sepia um, print. The color of the words, they're not black, they're more, I would definitely say sepia. Is it sepia or sepia? It's probably another word I'm mispronouncing. But um, these are super, I just think they're so delicate, kind of feminine. I just, I love them and they look fabulous with my sticker collection here. And I'm gonna show you how they all kind of coordinate with the rest of the kit. So here is the rest of the goodies. So this is kind of a new um, format for a product. I have not, I personally haven't seen this style. I think this is what you call a waterfall pack because each pocket is a separate, it kind of like just flows down and they're all separate pieces in here. So the first little short pocket has these little bitty paper embellishment pieces. And if you look closely, you'll see that it has a really pretty kind of, they're, it's actual like photography. It's got little palm trees and a little mountaintop of snow. To me, this is so Southern California. If you've ever been there or lived there, you will see how funny that you can look one direction and see palm trees and look another direction and see snow-topped mountains in the distance. So that, the, to me, this is so, so cow. So you have a bunch of little whimsical little pieces like that to decorate with. And these are really perfect for the month because September is kind of like the majority of September from the 1st to the 20th is all summer. And then beginning the 21st is fall. So it is kind of the end of summer, which is why I call this the summer sunset edition. Summer is definitely coming to a close. And then we have this little pocket and it has these um, stickers are also words, oops, sorry, word strip stickers. They're a pale gray and they're transparent, which will be interesting. I would be very curious to see how those work. You can see right through them. And then we have another, this is very stickery, isn't it? Got a lot of stickers in this one. And then this is this I keep holding this in the wrong direction, sorry. Um, and then this collection, which with a zebra, I love that. And pineapples, because I know there's so many of you who are fans, there's your pineapple. Fe I love feathers, that's kind of my icon that I really gravitate to. I absolutely adore the flowers that she did for this. Absolutely beautiful. And then here is your journaling cards. 
And these are more like patterned paper versus having expressions and sayings on them. So kind of the pink ombre, you get sunset, some grid, they are single sided. This is wood, some green crosses, a craft paper, yellow, and then pink. So you can kind of get the gist of everything and why I went with these really soft colors because they complement the whole collection so nicely. And then here's your little accent pieces. You've got your little summary kind of embellishments over here. And then, as if this was not enough, then there is this fabulous washi tape book. I'm just going to say it. I don't personally think these should be called washi because washi is a very specific material. But that is what they're calling it. Um, I already tore, like, tore this one out so I could show it to you e more easily. Um, I will say this particular material is a little bit more waxy, kind of like what a traditional washi is like. So I've, t I've felt others that are just straight up paper. It should be paper sticker, paper tape, I don't know, but I just always feel like washi is not really fair to call it, but that's my personal opinion. Um, so anyway, you get six sheets in this. So you're getting two, here, let me put it. So you're getting two of each page. So the first page, you will notice you have this gold foiling, green, yellow, and then these cute little tiny little leaves, lemon slices, this kind of tribal print, hello, hello, more foiled polka dots. You got the green, these dots, and the little teeny scissors, which are so adorable, little zebras, flowers. And then the last page is this one. So you have, this is gold foiled and these hearts are foiled. Wood grain, my absolute favorite. I am so obsessed with wood grain right now. I wanna have everything wood grain. I absolutely love this. This is probably my favorite pattern in the collection. And I have a whole card of it right here. So you actually get some washi, which is why I did not do a roll of washi this time. So you have these hard to spread everything out so you can see it all. So you have those and then this piece, this is actually from a completely different collection. Um, the reason why I included it is because at first glance I was like, huh, that doesn't really work. But when you take each piece separately and just look at it alone, it does work. It totally works in the collection. These are these little fabric corners and so basically you would be, it's a sticker on one side and then a corner on the other. So let me see if I can show you. So you would glue it down and it adds like texture. It's like kind of a canvasy kind of paper. And I love, I love it. I think it's so cool. Um, one way of doing it is using it like a actual, here, let me grab. Actually, I'm gonna leave it on this one. So I'm gonna take my library card pocket as an example and I'm gonna glue it down. They used to use these back in the day to hold pictures down in scrapbooks. And they call them photo corners. So that's what it, how it would look. And again, it's a material with grain. And I just thought it was cute. And I, I personally feel like these fit in. You have a lot of the same tones and it's from Amy Tangerine. I noticed from collection to collection, I feel like a lot of times they evolve. They're not completely, totally wackadoo different from each other. They just evolve from one collection to the next. Any piece you pull off, you can totally see a, a there's a story, a color story that she's staying consistent with. So this would be another component of what's involved in the kit for decorating. And then another Prima Chalk Edger. This one is this beautiful shade of pink and it's called Old Rose, which I thought was a really great color. I'm kind of, I guess what I'll do is I'll just stamp directly on the paper. I know. So it's like that really pretty pink. 
kind of like this pink. Kind of in, yeah, I would definitely say it's more like this pink, which I like. I think this is lovely. So I am every month putting a new chalk edger in there to kind of help you build a little collection. These are my absolute favorite stamp pads of all time. I absolutely adore these. They are so fabulous for traveling with because they're little. You can just toss a few in a bag. I feel like the caps, they, I, I haven't had any trouble with them coming off. I've had other little um, ink kits that totally the lids pop right off. So this is really nice that it's so compact. So in my case, secure. I hope that's true for everybody. Um, and they're just fabulous. They don't bleed through the page. The chalk ink kind of sits right on top of the paper. So that's really nice. And then finally, my glue stick. Again, this is one of my classics. I will include it in every kit that I sell because I just think it is the most fabulous glue ever made. And I want to share that with you as always. And finally, Murphy. I've been asked several times, why did you include a Murphy? And the truth is, is that I, do, I don't really have a excellent reason. <laughs> I just thought Murphy was a really fun little idea. It kind of reminded me of like when you were a kid and going to the gumball machine and you just, you never knew what you were going to get in that gumball machine. It was just really fun. And I just wanted to include that element of fun and surprise in your kit. Was which Murphy were you going to get? So that is that. So here is the kit. La! And I am really excited about it. This is a beautiful collection. I know a lot of you um, who saw it on my Instagram channel, the little peeks I was giving you, you were excited too because um, a lot of you know it was coming out. And I actually have another brand new collection that will be coming out in November. Um, that is going to be stunning. The next three months, including this one, are just like ridiculous awesome. I, I cannot wait to show you how cute everything is because we're heading into fall. That's a season that most of us really love. So I am bringing the fall magic to the Lister's Got a List kits. So with that being said, because we have a smaller box, because we have lightweight product, this will be one of the least expensive kits I've offered and it will be, um, the lowest shipping I've ever done on these. So all of that information, the pricing and, and the availability, all of that will be going out to you if you are subscribed to my listersgotalist.com email newsletter. I post it on my Instagram channel, at The Reset Girl, and on my Facebook page. Um, so please go check out all of that so I can post more details. It's a little hard to do that on a YouTube um, video. So I hope that you go out and visit me and get yourself a kit. I have um, increased the amount that we offer so that, that more people can get one. And because um, I hate disappointing people that really want one. So I'm trying to find like just that right amount that that everyone who really is dying to have one gets one. So if you have any questions, um, are interested in what Lister's Got a List is, you have not yet explored it, please go visit listersgotalist.com. I would love for you to join all the listers um, who are having so much fun with this challenge. And I'm going to get all this cleaned up, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye, everybody.